Before we dive into this biology course, let's ponder for a while, what is biology? I mean, if you want to study biology, you should first learn what biology actually is. We do this by looking at the word biology and its etymology. It is derived from the Greek word bios, which means life, and logos, which means text or knowledge of. Thus, biology is the science of life. But what is life? I mean, if you want to study the science of life, you should really first define what life actually is. When I studied biology at the university, there was this professor who just said, well, you know it when you see it. But let's still have a little discussion. What is living and what is not? Have a look at this molecule. Actually, it's just a model of a molecule called methane. It consists of a carbon atom here in the middle and four hydrogen atoms bound to the carbon atom. We can replace it with a structural formula that looks like this. Is it living? Most certainly not. It's just five atoms stuck together. It's not more living than a water molecule or a sugar molecule. This is a slightly more complicated organic molecule. In this molecule, which happens to be called adenine, there are also five nitrogen atoms. They are colored blue. We can replace the model with a structural formula, just like we did for methane. But my question now is, is adenine living? No, this too is just a plain molecule. It doesn't do anything at all. We can extend this adenine molecule. In this model, there are also some red oxygen atoms and a yellow phosphorus atom. Perhaps you can recognize that this is adenine over here. The ring here with carbon, oxygen and hydrogen atoms is a kind of sugar molecule. And the phosphorus atom together with the oxygen atoms is called a phosphate group. This molecule is called adenosine monophosphate. And we can write the structural formula like this. But what do you think? Is it living? No, of course not. It really doesn't do much more than the adenine molecule we looked at earlier. Many adenine molecules may be linked together like this, in a molecule called polyadenine. Although this molecule is five times larger than just one molecule of adenosine monophosphate, it still isn't living. The adenosine monophosphate molecule belongs to a family of molecules that are called nucleotides. We can combine several of them in a molecule that looks like this. Perhaps you recognize the adenine residues here. My question now is, is this molecule living? Well, no. This molecule, although it is quite large, is not any more living than the polyadenine molecule we looked at earlier. Do you know what this kind of molecule is called? It's a DNA molecule. And no, it's not living. It's not alive at all. If you have this molecule isolated in a test tube, exactly nothing will happen to it. So just a DNA molecule isn't alive. It isn't performing any living actions at all. Now I'll blow your mind. You know viruses? Some viruses only consist of a DNA molecule and some protective proteins. You know what that means? Viruses aren't alive either. So what is actually alive and kicking? Well, for something to be alive, it has to fulfill a few criteria. First of all, it has to have a metabolism. This means it takes up molecules from its surroundings, processes them and uses them or rebuilds them for its own purposes. It also has to be able to grow and reproduce. All living things also have the ability to move, more or less, during at least one stage of their life cycle. Finally, it has to be able to evolve, to adapt to its environment. Cells are the smallest things that fulfill all of these criteria. Every living organism on this planet is made of one or more cells. You and I have billions of cells in our bodies. Cells are characterized by a cell membrane which keeps everything in place. They contain DNA and RNA which carry the genetic information. All cells also contain enzymes of different kinds. They are proteins that coordinate the metabolism. 
Many cells contain much more, but this is the cell in its most simple form. It has a cellular membrane, some DNA, and these green dots represent the different enzymes. This is life in its smallest form, a cell.